Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing sequence and series. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. When we talk about sequence, this refers to an array of numbers or different terms that follow a specific pattern consistently. At itong pattern na to ay pwede natin ma-identify using a certain formula. And this sequence ay pwedeng ilista in this form. We have a sub 1, comma a sub 2, comma a sub 3, comma a sub 4, comma and so on and so forth until it reaches a sub n. The terms are separated by comma and you can see here the ellipsis to denote that the array is consistently following until it reaches the last term. A sub 1 is the first term, A sub 2 is the second term, A sub 3 is the third term, A sub n is the nth term. So depending upon n, it will tell us the end of the sequence. Kung ito ay A sub 6, ibig sabihin hanggang 6 term lang. For example, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Sa unang example na to, makikita natin na yung ellipsis na yung dulo, ibig sabihin nito, it continues infinitely and hindi natin mabibilang yung exactong number of terms ng sequence na to. So this kind of sequence is what we call as infinite sequence simply because its terms are infinite. Pero kung bounded yung sequence, in other words, may last term, like what we are seeing dito sa example 2, negative 1, comma negative 3, comma negative 5, comma negative 7, comma negative 9, comma negative 11, comma negative 13. And then that's the end. Ito ay tinatawag na finite or finite sequence. Ang ginagawa natin sa mga sequence na to ay hinahanapan natin ng nth term formula or ng general formula. Maraming ways on how to do it. Yung ibang ways na discuss ko na sa previous videos na ililink ko dito sa upper right corner ng video na to. Pero mag-discuss pa rin tayo ng example sa video na to. We have here 1, comma 1 fourth, comma 1 ninth, comma 1 sixteenth, comma 1 twenty fifth, comma 1 thirty sixth, and so on. This is an example of an infinite sequence. So lumalabas na itong 1, Ito lang yung hindi naka-fraction, pero pwede natin gawa ng paraan yan, gawa natin ng over 1. And notice the denominators of the fraction. All of them are called perfect squares. Ibig sabihin, itong 1 over 1, we can write it as 1 over 1 squared. 1 fourth can be written as 1 over 2 squared. 1 over 9. This is 1 over 3 squared. 1 over 16. Ito ay 1 over 4 squared. 1 over 25 is 1 over 5 squared. And yung huling given, 1 over 36, this is 1 over 6 squared. And as you may notice, yung number na nasa loob ng parenthesis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ito din yung position ng bawat fraction. That position can be referred to as N. And the formula for this example number 3 is 1 over N squared. Ito yung ating formula for the N term. Simply because kung ano yung kanyang place, Sabihin nating 7 pang 7th term, yun yung ating nilalagay sa denominator at in sa square. Kasi di ba ito yung a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, this is your a sub 4, this is a sub 5, and a sub 6. Kung titignan natin maigi, ito yung pinupunto ko kanina. Kung ano yung subscript, yun din yung nagiging denominator hanggang dito sa dulo actually. So, yun din yung ginawa natin sa ating general formula. We have 1 over n squared, that is the nth term formula for example number 3. Next, we have 2, 
4, 8, 16, and 32. Dito, ang gawin natin, we have a sub 1 equals 2. Yung a sub 2 is 4, pero subukan natin siyang i-express in terms of 2. In other words, we have 2 times 2. a sub 3 is 8. Pwede natin tong isulat as 2 times 2 times 2. a sub 4 is 16. This is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And finally, we have a sub 5, 32. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And kung mas gagawin pa nating obvious, itong una nating term can be written as 2 to the 1. Kasi isang beses lang naman yung 2. Second term natin, 2 squared. Kasi dalawa na yung 2. Third term natin is 2 cubed. Fourth term is 2 to the fourth. And the fifth term is 2 to the fifth. At katulad ng ginawa natin sa example number 3, hahanapin natin yung similarity ng subscript dun sa ating resulting expression. As I am encircling this, lumalabas na yung subscript natin ay nagiging exponent ng ating 2. So in other words, ang ating general term formula for this example number 4 is a sub n equals 2 raised to n. Again, kung ano yung ating n, kung yan man ay 11, the resulting expression will be 2 raised to 11 or kung ano man yung simplified form nun. So ganyan tayo gumawa ng general term formula. Again, may iba pa tayong video about dito. Pero hindi lang naman sequence ang ating pag-uusapan. We will also be defining series. Pag sinabi nating series, involve tayo ng sum ng sequence. Or in other words, meron tayong ina-add. No? Ina-add natin yung mga members ng sequence. Pwedeng infinite series, ibig sabihin nun, yung infinite sequence, ia-add natin lahat ng members ng sequence na yon. Pero dahil infinite nga, mahihirapan tayo or hindi natin madedetermine yung pinaka sum niya. Ito yung itsura niya. a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 hanggang makarating sa a sub n pero naka plus pa yung ellipsis. Dito, yung mga kama from the sequence na tanggal napalitan ng plus kasi series na nga yung involve. Kapag naman finite or finite series, ito naman yung sum ng finite sequence. So, tinatawag din to na nth partial sum. Partial kasi hindi infinite yung involve. Parang kinakat lang hanggang dito sa a sub n. So again, na-drop yung mga kama na paltan ng plus sign dahil series na tayo. Example, meron tayong 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25. Ito yung sequence kanina sa ating previous slide. Meron tayong ia-add ngayon, which will give us a sum of 75. So, yan yung sagot sa series natin. Again, ina-add natin sila. And ito naman, meron tayong negative 1, ia-add sa negative 3, ia-add sa negative 5, sa negative 7, sa negative 9, sa negative 11, and negative 13, makaka-arrive tayo sa negative 49. By the way, kung i-compare natin itong number 5, ito ay partial sum lang nung mga previous infinite sequence kasi nga hindi natin madedetermine yung exact sum ng infinite series. So may ibang way para mas mapadali yung ating series at gagamitan natin yon ng summation notation at yun ang pag-uusapan natin sa next video. Thank you for watching. If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video.